So that was Legends of Everfree, and boy was it awesome! Yo! <laughs> Alright, I have to get a few of these things out of the way first. It's like, oh, I, I loved how Celestia and Luna actually sort of got to do something. It's like, when they're, you know, it's like, all the students run into the thing. It's like, Celestia's like, you shall not pass, and stuff. It's like, yo! I mean, she was duped to failure, but at least she tried. Yo! Okay, sorry, I had to get that out of the way, so, yo, oh. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I like that. All the characters, actually, they were trying, I mean, most of them were trying to do something in the situation. They were just like, oh, run away, sort of a thing. Like, the guy grabs the axe and, you know, is trying to, like, I'm gonna get you out of there. But unfortunately, it's like, no, oh, I, oh, doomed the failure. But at least he tried. Yo, I like that. I, I really like this one. Um, I think the big thing for me is because... Now, there's obviously a problem here with with putting all this magic stuff into the so-called real world of the human world. Is that they don't have magic in Equestria? Most of the a lot of the characters have magic, so okay. But inserting it here almost breaks the story and breaks this world. But I think they're finally starting to find a way to make this work a little bit. And yes, and, uh, it definitely feels like it looks like the elements of harmony have truly been reborn in the human world and everything. So that's kind of cool. But it does pose a lot of new questions, too. It's like, ooh, <laughs> it's tough. So anyway, but yeah, I mean, the thing that really made this cool was the ending, because you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, obviously we need magic to go beat up this crazy magic person and everything, but you know what, at the end, it's like, but it doesn't fix, but it, can't, but it can't fix the actual problem that sort of started this, is that the camp is gonna be bought out by Filthy Rich. It's like, they can't blast, they can't blast Filthy Rich with the elements of harmony. They can't do that. That won't work. So it's like, this is, this is where everybody else came in. I mean, yeah, they used, they helped, they used their magic powers to help them get through the situation, but it's everybody else coming together and uniting to save Camp Everfree. Yo, I love it. It's like, this is, this is stuff, this is real world solutions to these problems. You know, this is, this is what we could do with the real world, because obviously the elements of harmony don't exist in the real world. But in a way, they kind of do. They exist in moments like that, where everybody comes together and does and does everything they can to, uh, you know, save <laughs> to save the camp. Yes. Okay. I'm going. I'm going crazy. I'm losing it. I'm. Uh, and, oh. <laughs> Oh dear, it's like, oh dear. Anyway, so enough that. So yeah, I, I really, really, really liked that. I definitely think this was a better movie than Rainbow Rocks, because my problem with Rainbow Rocks is that most, I mean, it's a true musical with that. You can yank most of the story out. I mean, if you yank the songs out, the story there is really, that you could skip most of the, the movie, but here you can't. Here it works, you know, here the songs are supporting the story, they are not the story, which is what I like that. You know, but at the same time, the songs do stand okay on their own. I like it, I just love it, I think it's awesome. Yo, oh, I'm definitely gonna go and buy the soundtrack later. Um, but yeah, I uh, definitely like it, the songs are really good. It's like, I, oh, poor Twilight. I, I almost feel that I almost need to, I think I almost need to have a soul separate video on this, because there's there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on with the characters. I mean, we had Midnight Twilight Sparkle. I mean, I mean, duh. <laughs> I mean, everything. It's because, yeah, it's like, yeah, I mean, there's a, there was a lot going on, which is, in a way, good. I mean, it did feel kind of slow. It did feel like, uh, you know, it may not, it may not have been exci as, as exciting as Rainbow Rocks, but I think for, for this universe, I think this is the kind of story that really suits Equestria Girls the best, because otherwise, we're just doing MLP in a different form, and I don't think that's what they should do. That if we're gonna go to all this trouble to make a whole other universe and all this stuff, they should make it somehow unique to, you know, unique, because otherwise all they're doing is duplicating what they've already done and just done it with human characters instead of ponies. So, but I think that definitely accomplished that here. I mean, this was a real world problem that, you know, and yes, it kind of got inf infected with magic a little bit, but yeah, it's like, I will do that. It's perfectly understandable. I will do anything to save my camp. And it's like, mm, and that's how this sort of things happen. It's like, yeah, she's, yeah, that she's totally rationalizing all doing all this terrible stuff. I mean, this isn't going to fix the problem, sort of. But anyway, okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I'm completely going berserk and I'm definitely that brain malfunctioning and everything. And I, but I really, 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 really liked this one. They were was a lot going on. The character stuff was interesting. The songs were good. The animation is always just good. It's like, oh, oh, 
or DHX. It's like, oh, there's like so many new new assets had to be made for this movie, and oh, the outfits and everything is like, oh my gosh. It's like, oh, they work so hard. <laughs> oh dear, so once again, thank you to DHX. Yo, you you are definitely awesome, yo. <laughs> It's like, even some of the other characters kind of got lines and stuff, and, you know, in, in some ways, some of the questions have kind of gotten answered, like with Flash, because, yeah, like, Flash is like, you know, and, also, and almost in a way, unofficially confirms, Pony Twilight is not coming back, which, honestly, I support that, you know, because it's like, no, 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 this, this, this is, this is, this is a, qu this is human Twilight's world out. Well, actually, it's Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer is the place of, uh, is basically, a, is the, is almost in a way the Twilight Sparkle here. Okay, anyway, yeah, as I, as I kind of said, it's like, there's a lot going on here. I, I almost need to do, like, a separate Aftermath video or, like, five focus on videos on this one, because there's just so much, and, but I like it, I like it, but in a way, they almost have to do so much. They only get an hour in, like, 13 minutes to do this, whereas, like, in the regular show, they get, you know, they get, uh, you know, 26, 20, 26, uh, 22-minute episodes, so, <laughs> and whole seasons to devote to character stuff. Here, they only get an hour in, like, 13 minutes, so, <laughs> so, yeah, but, um, okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. so, I think... <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna stop this now and I'm just gonna say this movie was awesome I really liked it. I thought it was cool. It was great It was definitely worth waiting for and it was just so cool. It's just, just so cool It's just so awesome and yo <laughs> And I'm glad that they're they're starting to make this whole magic in the human world thing work and not to mention also showing how real people can Hopefully come together and solve real problems like this and not just simply blast the, the, the bad guys with huge magic rainbow lasers and things which is awesome but it's really cool that they found a way to you know show and inspire some people you know it's to inspire everybody to hopefully go and find a way to solve these problems ourselves yes that's why i love equestrian girls yes <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm rambling. I'm definitely losing it and rambling on and going berserk here and blah. So, <laughs> which means it's definitely time to stop now. So, <laughs> oh dear. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I uh, thank you for uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out. <laughs>